What's up friends? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the first TBR of the year. The books I'm going to be reading in January for two readathons. First, a month-long readathon, Read Joe Shelves, hosted by Kathy and Steph, and I'll have the links to that down below. There is a bingo board that I'm going to be trying to complete, and this readathon is just all about reading your shelves and reading the books on your shelves. In 2020, we talked a lot about consumerism on BookTube, and this also is attributed to that conversation of reading books on your shelves. So maybe if you got some for Christmas or you just have some that are lying around, maybe you have some library holds, anything to you that is a book you have obtained you can read and try and check off the bingo board. So I have a couple books I would like to read for that readathon and they're also going to be overlapping with another readathon Kathy is hosting with Beck and this is the Rent readathon. I love Rent. It is one of my favorite musicals. You know I am going to be listening to the soundtrack. My personal favorite is Season of Love. It's just such a bop. I love that. I just love this musical so you know I had to participate in this. And the links to the host announcement videos and more information will be linked down below. This readathon has prompts based on the characters so I have taken some and put them together to create a TBR so let's just get into the video. I am attempting to get bingo for this readathon but my main goal is to finish some of the books on my TBR. The first prompt is nonfiction, and I will be reading Piece of Cake by Cupcake Brown. I got this for Christmas in 2019 from my brother and I've never gotten around to it but I've been wanting to pick it up. The cover is cool. I don't really know much about it. I know it's a memoir and I love memoirs so I am very excited but I don't really know too much more about it. The next book fits a couple of prompts. Part of a series retelling and an author from your country. I'm from the U.S. and I have Bookish and the Beast by Ashley Poston. I received an arc of this a while back when it came out. This is the final conclusion in the Once Upon a Con series. It is a geek retelling of Beauty and the Beast. And Ashley Poston is one of my favorite authors, so I could also use it for that prompt, but I am so excited to finally get around to this. The last book I have for Rejo Shelves before it overlaps with the Rent Readathon is Author You Love, Newest Acquired, and Hyped. And this is Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. I swear I didn't mean to have an aesthetic with this TBR, but it just happened. This is Frederick Bachman's 2020 release, and I don't know much about it. I just know that people have been talking about it. I know Emma from Drinking By Your Shelf, she loves this book. It was one of her favorites of the year, and I will pick up anything that Frederick Bachman writes, and I'm very excited to read this. Next, we move into the Rent Readathon, and this starts with Mark. The prompt is to read a biography or a memoir, and I will be reading reading piece of cake for that one. The next prompt is to read a book with a Jewish protagonist, first being a middle grade, a place at the table, and this also has purple on the cover, which is one of the prompts for Rejo shelves. And I have a young adult with a Jewish protagonist, and this is Color Me In by Natasha Diaz. Next is Roger, and this is to read a book about music and read a contemporary, and I have On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. This is an own voices novel, which is going to be fitting for the Rejo shelves prompt, and I'm sure she can fit other ones. I love Angie. I need to read this. This is about a girl named Brie who is a rapper and I started some of this last year but I never got around to finishing it and I got the paperback for Christmas. So something is telling me that I need to pick this up and this readathon is a perfect excuse. Next is Maureen and this is to read a book with a bisexual main character. I'm torn. I'm not sure which one I'm going to read. I have an ER Golf Cool for the Summer by Dahlia Adler and Perfect on Paper by Sophie Gonzalez. Editing me here to just talk about the mistake I'm going to make in the next clip. I actually say that this is Joanne. It's actually Colin's prompt. So just wanted to clear that up before I continued with the video. Next is Joanne and this is to read a book with a queer person of color. And I have The Henna Wars. This is a sapphic romance between two girls that have a rival henna business. It is about a Muslim girl who comes out to her parents as a lesbian and I've heard so many good things about this in 2020 so I am excited to get to it. Next is Angel and this is to read a book with trans rep and I'll be reading The Avant Garde's Volume 3. This has a trans side character. There's a lot of queerness in this book and I love this series and I can't wait to continue it. 
And for Mimi, this is to read a graphic novel and I'm going to be reading This Place. This is an Indigenous graphic novel anthology that I was actually recommended by Sarah from Shrink Bean Books. And I have this on Hoopla. I can't wait to read it. I love graphic novels. I'm also going to be reading He Who Dreams by Melanie Florence for the dream prompt for the buzzword readathon. Let me know if you're going to be participating in any of these readathons. You'll probably see some of these books pop up in my secret TBR reading vlog because I do like to try and and read some of the books that are on my TBR and not just add one. So you'll probably see some of these in that video. So those are all the books for January. Let me know what you're looking forward to reading this month. I have a Patreon if you'd like to support me there for only one dollar. I'm going to be posting my monthly wrap-ups there. So if you do want to see what books I've read for January, go over there and become a paperback pal for only one dollar. But I will be sharing my quarterly wrap-ups on this channel every quarter of the year. Hit subscribe if you haven't. And that is it for me today. I hope you're all having a great day and staying safe and I will see you next time. Bye.